Welcome back, Sporklers! We're here with a tutorial on the freshest quiz format yet. Multiple choice quizzes are the newest format on Sporkle and have some really cool features. If you want to get started making your own, I am here to teach you how. Let's get started! First, navigate to the Game Management Dashboard and click Create a Sporkle Quiz. Our game today is going to be Veggie Facts. With no similar games popping up, we're going to click Multiple Choice in the drop-down menu and then Create Our Game. So on this quiz, we'll be asking people if they can determine which vegetable each fact corresponds to. One minute should be more than enough time for this, and we'll stick it in the miscellaneous category. We'll save our changes, and we're ready to move on to the data tab. This is where things get funky. Every data tab you've seen so far looks identical. Popping on over to this one, you'll see that there's no table to enter your questions in. Instead, there's this button here, Add Question. Clicking on this button brings up a little window. The first big box is where you type in the question. For us, the first question is, which of these veggies is known for high levels of beta carotene? Now down below is where we put our answer options. You can have anywhere from one to four options to choose from. We're going to make this quiz as hard as possible and give it all four possibilities. The actual answer to this question is carrots, so we'll put that one in. Then our decoys will be cauliflower, asparagus, and eggplant. This little button right here determines which answer classifies as correct. Right now, carrot is selected just fine, but we could easily move the answer around. Now we save our answer, and question one is done. Thankfully, with the magic of editing, we can do this in a few seconds. Okay, now that we have all of our answers in, we can move them around if we want to change the order. Backtracking to the Options tab, we can see our randomizing options. Right now, we have the option selected to randomize the order of answers. This means that even though our correct answer was always the first option in data input, they can appear at any position in the quiz. That's the only option we want selected for this quiz, so we're ready to test it out. Now I think that looked great. To contribute our quiz, we're going to go to the Edit tool, head to the Finish Up tab, and click Launch Game to the Public. And just like that, you've submitted your first multiple choice quiz. They grow up so fast. If this video was super helpful for you, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out our blog tutorials for clickable slideshow and other quiz formats. If you have any requests for future how-tos, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Good luck!